everybody. We're here on Macan Island in the city of Lapu Lapu. And if you want to know why the name is Lapu Lapu, Lapu Lapu was a, a local uh, chief uh, on Macan Island when Magellan, you know, the guy, the Spanish explorer that sailed around the world, well, when he came here, uh, he tried to enslave, you know, the Pee people because he really wasn't that nice of a guy, even though he was a in uh, American history, like, you know, famous explorer, but uh, they were always trying to enslave everybody, you know, that they uh, found on islands and countries and things. So, uh, anyway, here he tried that, and uh, Lapu Lapu uh, didn't quite like that, and he uh, had a battle with, you know, Magellan and all of his men, and Magellan lost. Lapu Lapu wound up killing him, so. He's a national uh, hero here, and uh, this is Lapu Lapu City. But uh, in Lapu Lapu, there's a place called MEPSA, N M E P Z A, and I don't exactly know what it stands for, but it's a um, kind of like a manufacturing economic zone, and uh, it may be like a tax exempt place or something like that. But there's a lot of foreign countries com companies that uh, have manufacturing plants there, like Pentax, you know, the camera manufacturer, uh, Fairchild Semiconductor, that's where my wife worked when I met her, although it's changed uh, owners now, it's named something else, but they make, you know, semiconductors for Apple computers and automotive electronics and stuff like that. Uh, I think Timex is there, the watch manufacturer, uh, you know, there's probably at least 20 different companies there, but uh, it's a huge employer on this island. Uh, this island is also, uh, from what I read, I could be wrong, but from what I read, the most densely populated island on Earth. Uh, and it's Mactan Island. It's right off of, uh, right across the little channel, ocean channel from uh, Cebu City. So what I'm going to show you guys is the uh, living quarters of people that work at MEPSA and uh, so we're actually right here this is a sidewalk going down there but if you turn and you go well you can look that way there's a little sorry sorry store that sells but uh, these are one room uh, places to live there's a building right there there's two or three buildings actually one person owns them all and they partitioned them off into just one room. Uh, they have a community uh, shower and a community toilet uh, for kind of each of the sections of rooms. So we're going to go up there, and the rent here is 2,000 pesos, 2,200 pesos per month. And uh, there's like a little walkway to somewhere, who knows? But this is the direction that you go and you can see all the electric lines and up there somebody's house maybe the owner of the building with a patio and stuff on top so might be kind of nice up there with the wind and the breeze and a, a good view but we'll go in here and i'll just kind of show you everything this is uh, like i said these are where the mepsa people live they don't have to live here they can live wherever they want but this is just a common area it's about a 15 minute walk from um, MEPSA to here, and they work, you know, shifts around the clock. They have day shift, swing shift, and grave shift, and, uh, you know, people work all hours, so they're always going back and forth. They've got the little multi-cabs that take them here and there. I'm going to walk down this way. This is actually the entrance way. This is where my brother-in-law and sister-in-law and their three-year-old uh, daughter lives and I haven't actually been back here yet I just kind of went to the other way I videoed it once before but this is like a little sorry sorry store where you can get your coffee a little instant coffee bag a uh, little one serving uh, cooking oil stuff like that for the people that live here a little tissue Zonrox bleach like Clorox, but it's Zonrox, your laundry detergent, South. Uh, here's some more laundry detergents, uh, sardines, canned food, 
just kind of like a little convenience store and because there's so many people that live here in this building obviously these little sorry sorry stores is the kind of you need something you just run downstairs and you, you know six pesos or 25 pesos and you know you got what what you need there's a water machine too i've showed you this in one of the other videos they put a bottled water in, in here and it's a safe place to drink and you got a little baggie up there a little plastic bag and you put it under that stainless steel nozzle there and you put a peso in but you need your bag here because the second the peso drops that thing starts squirting so you got to hold your bag there while you put your peso in there and you get a good drink of water uh, water and it's refrigerated so unless everybody's been drinking and then you wind up getting the warm water not not the cold but if nobody's got any water recently it's pretty uh, cold so over there you can see a little bit nicer uh, area and that may be a shopping area there so anyway we'll walk down here a little bit more and uh, see what's back here so this is how you find things here there's little pathways and stuff okay so here they're actually building uh, some more of these rooms and uh, I guess it's a fairly profitable business you know you rent four of these and you're making almost 10,000 pesos per month out of four little rooms so somebody's making you know money uh, here so anyway this is kind of the end of the road here but as you can see they're making nice uh, nice uh, apartments here for people from you know MEPSA they got their water supply there for water pressure over there all that so we'll go back this way and go to my brother-in-law's room and you'll get to see uh, you know what it's like so there's a dog sleeping in the sidewalk which they do all the time there uh... oh YouTube the guy was kind of wondering what I'm doing walking around with the camera, camera which is good. That, you know, kind of suspicious people. You got to kind of keep an eye on things around here because, you know, don't know what could go go down. Uh, it's not a crime area that I know of, but, you know, nonetheless, you know, like neighborhood block watch people uh, kind of look after each other. So this is the entranceway here. So we came from there. This is the road where we just walked up. From there and this is the first entrance here and you can park your motorcycle in here uh, if, if you have one and uh, here's a little sink where you can wash maybe dishes and stuff and uh, it's a little bit dark in here but not too bad I mean the camera may not be showing it in as good a light as what I can see with just my eyes. So these are the stairs. They're little rebar steel stairs coming up. There's another level. So they're on the second floor, which you're going to get a little more air and a little more breeze. So when you open your window, it'll be a little bit more cool. This is the bathroom. And again, it's a community one. This is a shower. It's got a little bucket there that fills up with water, and you use a scooper to wash yourself and in here is the uh, toilet and again it's a community one but somebody's keeping it clean you know things are things things are washed things are deteriorating but things are at least washed you can hang your clothes up here to dry and uh, so all of the you know Filipinos figure out how to do things just like everybody does uh, when you need a place to hang your clothes and this is like a one section of the building from that corner there over to here and there's three rooms on this side and there's two rooms on this side they're all basically the same size and they all got their own electric meter for each room so and again they just kind of sheetrock plywood this is actually um uh, cement board I forget what it's called but it's a cement board here and this is 
My brother-in-law, Fred. Yeah, hi. That's his wife over there. Jason, she works at a call center. And Fred's going to start working at another company uh, Monday. And, of course, that's my wife there. So, this is... we got a TV. This is their kitchen area where they have a little gas stove. This is a common stove here to use. It comes with little refillable um, propane bottles. And, of course, you got to have a rice cooker and uh they got a window like i said you got ventilation and stuff here so it's pretty nice and then like a closet basically was like a bunk bed as they're using it as a closet and that so and this is the little youngster here she's really smart kids are uh, filipino kids are like really good kids they, they, you don't ever have any problems with those this is decent decent mother this is your mom yeah yeah oh, okay yeah yeah, so they live here and this is the floor mat here where you sleep and uh, that's a really thick piece of wood there it's yeah. a big thick piece of timber there but my wife when I met her she lived in a she had two rooms she had like a bedroom and there's a wall between it uh, basically this size maybe a little bit longer than this room a little bit longer like that away and then on the other side of the wall was a bedroom so she had like a little living room and then a little like a desk like an office desk that they had salvaged somewhere uh, to uh, do her cooking on her brother Fred actually lived with her uh, off and on then you know in between jobs and stuff and you know when you need a place to live her other brother that's still younger she's the second oldest her she's got an oldest brother that lives in Bogo uh, but uh, there's a lot of people that live here on uh, Matchan Island and uh, it's you know and you'd be where surprised you every store that we go to retail store uh, somebody is from Battalion Island or many people four or five at Ace in uh, Constellation at SM Mall there was like four or five of them all there from you know battalion island so and uh fred has a i love battalion island shirt show him your shirt fred see right there he loves battalion island everybody does so anyway we are gonna go do some shopping at one of the grocery stores here in just a few min minutes because we need to get some canned food because in uh uh battalion island there is no modern type shopping you know you can't get um, um, american canned vegetables and stuff so we come here and load up with 10 or 20 uh, cans 30 40 50 cans of various stuff and take them back to you know battalion and then we're good for like a month or two with with our canned food so anyway i just want to show you guys uh where people live uh here and when they work at mepsa uh and uh about what it costs so We'll be back with more from My Paradise on Battalion okay, Island. everybody, this is the new uh, replacement bus for the multi-cabs in the Philippines. For all those small little trucks and, and, and stuff. They're going to replace them all with these guys. And uh, it's like a little miniature bus. It's open air. And uh, it's not air con or another thing. But... I don't know if they're electric or not. I'll see if there's an exhaust pipe on the back. There's a fuel tank there, it looks like. There may be plugs for the batteries. But uh, I don't see any uh, exhaust pipe. It may be uh, electric. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you the heads up that this is the new. See, this is, this is the old right there, the old uh, Suzuki uh, truck. A little Japanese Suzuki truck. They cut the back off of those and are at a roof and curtains and stuff. And uh, I guess, I don't know what the price is. Probably the same as with the old style multi cab. But this is the first one that I've seen here. So, anyway, the future of the Philippines right in front of your very eyes. That's so, anyway, that's it. Bye for now.